Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Welcome to the Body Beatdown. I'm Michael. You're insane. Drop dead gorgeous hunk of a man host. Don't leave. God, don't leave. Guys, it's Monday. Happy 4th of July if you celebrate that stuff. I'll be celebrating by not celebrating, I guess. I'm a stick in the mud. Get off my lawn! Anyway, I got other stuff to do. Like work out. Today is leg day, so we're going to start off with some squats. Some free weight squats. And I'm debating on keeping these in my workout plan or not. Number one, I've never been good at squats. Number two, my neck and my traps and all that are extremely sore all the time. I have... A bad neck and all that my back a chronic bad back I'm stiff on the hips I don't have good mobility and my squats just look a little awkward and they feel awkward and I can't go up heavy enough to really make them worth my while I don't think so I'm debating if I want to keep doing these uh, I can do a little better on the Smith machine because uh, I don't have to worry about the weight falling off of me I can just stay under it and you know uh, I can put my hands on my legs or on the machine and kind of help myself up and and uh, move some heavier weight with cleaner, more safe uh, range of motion and and uh, just the whole execution of it's a little bit safer on the Smith machine for me. It really for anyone, it's really safer. It's just a little bit better. Debatable, I'm sure. But we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna throw out a few reps here couple sets here and there and see what we get today on the free weight okay so let's get started we got 135 going on let's see what we can do guys let's do some squats So we're going to do another set of 135 and uh, see how that goes. Also keep in mind whenever I'm talking about how painful and odd and awkward all these squats are, I have no range of motion in my shoulders for this. It burns so bad all in my shoulder all the way down into my tricep area. I have scar tissue and all kind of messed up stuff off in there. So, you know, I hate to... I hate to stop doing squats because I know it's one of the big movements and we all feel big and strong whenever we do these lifts but I'm really debating and uh, you can leave in the comments what you think I should do what do you think so anyway I'm gonna do another warm-up set and then we'll kind of go from there and see how we do okay stick around guys here's the question for you kind of a situation 135 I feel like I do 135 pretty well I feel even my range of motion is good I feel I feel I'm doing like the whole movement and my body structure and everything is pretty decent when I'm doing 135 now let's say I go to 225 and that starts suffering uh, the weight becomes just too much for my shoulders too much for my neck I'm too uncomfortable my range of motion suffers my the angle of my body and everything kind of starts suffering but i can still push out 10 reps of semi-decent squats do you continue doing the semi-decent squats or do you say screw it and just go to 135 and stay at 135 because that's all you can technically handle what do you do guys leave in the comments let me know what you would do okay 
as for me there's two sets of 135 done I'm gonna go ahead and throw another 45 on each side okay stick around all right we got two 45s on each side now that's 225 so uh, I'm gonna try and get a decent enough shot with the camera here keep a lookout watch my form watch how I do I may take the camera off the tripod and stick it on my dresser over here just to get a different kind of side view but let me know what you think guys uh, and we'll go from there okay stick around All right, guys, to some degree, you see how I just did 225. I only did eight reps. I was going to do 10, but I thought, eh, I'll hold off and not stress and strain too much. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go up to 315. And uh, we'll look at the difference between 225 and 315 for sure. Of course, 135 is considered super light. So you can't really read much into that. But, uh, you know, once you get, you know, 225 and up, you know, it's a solid squat regardless, you know, who you are. So uh, let's go ahead and throw some more 45s on and let's examine that, okay? Stick around and leave comments, guys. It's what we're doing here. Let's do it. So there you've seen 315 and uh, yeah it's uncomfortable mostly up here with my shoulders trying to reach back and hold the bar mostly you know yeah I got the chronic bad back but just holding the bar is worse than really anything you know and I know they make those safety squat bars and I'm looking at them it's just a matter of getting the funds that's a lot of money to uh, shell out for a you know a bar for me anyway so uh, but I have to determine if I'm gonna continue doing free weight squats to determine if I want to shell out money for a specialty bar so you give me your thoughts and opinions on that you could kind of see how I was doing that I mean that's 315 did that look respectable enough to uh, keep this in my regimen and maybe get a safety squat bar or uh, should I give it up altogether and just use a Smith machine should I go over 315 I don't know we might all right guys we're gonna just try 405 and see what it feels like lifting it off the rack I just want to see what it feels like on this free weight. I've done it on the Smith machine and it was over 400. Let's see what it feels like here.
even I know my limits. So, I got it off the uprights or off the J-hooks and walked it out. I didn't feel secure enough to go squatting it. It's a lot of weight for me. So I'm not going to count that as my last set. I don't want to count that. But I will make note in my journal here that I did try it. So I'm going to go back down to 315, do another set of probably four, and then we're going to go over to the actual gym, and uh, we'll finish out legs over there. Hack press, probably, and the, uh, I might do some Smith Machine squats over there. So we'll see you over there, guys. All right, guys, we're over here at the Smith Machine. We're going to do some Smith Machine squats. Right now, I've only got a 45 on each side. Keep in mind, the bar and the carriage that it's attached to weighs 57 pounds. Your standard bars that you normally would use weigh 45 pounds. So this is 12 pounds heavier. So we're looking at 12 pounds heavier than normal. Do the math. So let's do some Smith Machine squats. And I'm not going to bore you too much with these. And uh, matter of fact, I won't even film this. I might film if I do a little bit heavier, okay? I don't want to bore nobody. Uh, I got videos you can go check out that shows me doing this. So we'll check in in a minute, guys. Keep going. All right, so I went ahead and I put another 45 on each side. So 225, 237, should be around 237. Again, with the bar and the carriage. So, let's see what we do, guys. I'll go ahead and lower this down a smidgen. Please forgive the camera shake, although there won't be much. Go about right there. All right, so I went ahead and I stuck another 45 on there, so that's 327 pounds. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a set of that. I'm kind of keeping my reps low uh, to be able to follow through with the next set and feel okay about it, not wear myself out too much. Again, if you're if you're broken down, basically from the waist up, you got to kind of think smart about things. So I'm trying to think smart and play hard hard as I can so let's get a set of these done we'll see how we do I'm gonna try and not put my hands on my legs uh, you'll notice in the 225 or two whatever uh, 237 pound uh, I put my hands down for a second and then I put them up on the bar I'm trying to make myself hold the bar because if I got to hold the bar on the free weight I should go ahead and make myself hold the bar over here on the Smith machine so I'm we'll trying to keep my hands on the bar I'm going to try and do four reps. I'd like to do four reps. So let's try that, guys. Uh, uh. All right, not the 
greatest range of motion, but I do the best that I feel like I can within reason. What I'm happiest about is I went ahead and kept my hands on the bar. Whew. If you've never had shoulder problems like these, you just don't know. I won't even go into the back problems. But the burn and the pain that I get, whew, it's like you did you just did the most intense, crazy shoulder workout of your life and then kept going. Remember in gym class when the T T uh, P E T when the PE teacher would tell you to hold your hands, I held your arms out, hold them, hold them, hold them, you had to hold them for like an hour and a half. That burn, multiply that burn by about 500. That's the burn I feel in my shoulders. And plus the pain itself. I know, I know it gets old hearing me say these things, but you gotta understand that not everybody watches every video and even if that, I hope that I'm giving you the strength to go through your day, through your workout, and push through the pains that you have. Because we're all suffering to some degree or another. Some greater than others, some lesser than others, but a lot of us have aches and pains that we're trying to work through. And uh, I'm just trying to be an inspiration and let you see that uh, you can do it, you're gonna suffer, but you can do it. So I got uh, another couple sets or so of this to do and uh, I'll determine what I'm gonna do at, that, at uh, this point if I'm gonna add more weight. We'll see. Stick around guys. Well since I did it on the free weight I'm gonna do it over here. I put another 45 on. Uh, this is gonna be roughly 417. So I'm gonna go for one rep, and I may have to put my hands on my legs. We'll see. That was rough guys so as you've seen I had to put my hands on my legs uh, I just didn't feel comfortable having that kind of weight 110% uh, supported by my shoulders and my back if you know putting my hands on my legs gives my upper torso area you know a little bit of stability and uh, makes me feel a little bit more secure so that's why I went ahead and decided to do that uh, at that on that rep so anyway, I mean, you know, it is what it is. I moved some weight. I'll call it one rep, you know. It, it don't matter if I do a 225 or 400. I'm not gonna go parallel and I'm not gonna go below parallel. It don't matter. Uh, I can't even do that without a bar. I can't squat, uh, I can't squat even parallel hardly even without a bar, just standing here doing it. Before I squatted today, before I did my workout, I actually went in there with a free weight, uh, where the cage is, and I took the bar, and I just put the bar on my back, and I was trying to squat, and even with the bar, it's hard for me to go all the way down and do proper depth, you know, to at least go parallel. It's hard for me to even get to that point. I think with 135 on it, it gives me that extra little push to where I go down better. Uh, but that, that's not always the case when you go up too, when you start putting more and more weight on because then it becomes more of a, a structural kind of issue and uh, kind of hitting you a little harder. But, you know, I do what I do. And again, this is really uh, hoping to touch base with those of us out there that have neck, shoulder problems, back problems, hip problems, flexibility problems. Even my ankles are garbage because I've twisted them and sprung them 
so many times over the years. I mean, to the point to where they looked like they were going to just break off and pop off my body. Uh, believe me, they've been bad multiple times throughout my life. So, uh, so bad, in fact, I can just stand and fall down. So, it's bad ankles, really bad. So, you know, you got to work through your ailments as best you can. And what's good about having a home gym is even if you can't push yourself to the limits, you're not paying a monthly fee. You go out and you buy your workout equipment and you can find a lot of it cheap on the marketplace and Craigslist and yard sales and other kind of things. And so you can at least work out at home and not feel guilty uh, like you would if you had a gym membership and paying, you know, 25 to 50 or $100 or whatever a month for something you're not really getting a lot of use from. So I suggest having a, a home gym for everyone. That's the best way to work out for me. I love working out at home. So anyway, I got, I may have one more set to do, I don't know. Yeah, I got one more set to do. I'm gonna take a 45 off and I'm gonna do one more set of these squats. And uh, I may call it a day. I don't know if I'm gonna do the hack press or not. I may just call it a squat day. Or I may just do like some lightweight on the uh, hack press, I don't know. Uh, if I remember, I'll get a picture of my workout and post it in here on the video. Um, so anyway, guys, again, have a good 4th of July. Be safe, don't blow any body parts off. That's what she said. Uh, have a good day, good week. Uh, inspire someone along the way, including yourself, because you matter more than anyone in this world. Believe me, you do. All right, like, share, subscribe, comment. I want all that good stuff to the body beat down. Leave comments, please. Let me know what you think. Uh, what are your opinions and your thoughts on squats? What should I do? Should I invest in a safety squat bar? Should I give up squats? Should I at least go up to 315 because those reps and everything look pretty good and it, it, felt, it feels okay to me? What do you think? Should I push it? I know I'm not gonna get Mr. Olympia quads. I get it. I'm past those days and I don't do drugs to do that stuff anyway. So maybe I should have. Anyway, guys, get up, get out, get red, do it to it. We'll see you next time on the Bite Beat Down. Now let me go and do this last set. <laughs> <laughs>